In this video, I played 100 games of World of Chell in NHL 24, which included a ton of huge hits, highlight reel goals, and of course, funny moments. I just exploded! Meow. So sit back, grab a snack, and let's hop right into game number one. Welcome to day one of NHL 24, where everyone is level one, and everyone's controls and visual settings are all messed up. My pass assist off. We decided to try out the brand new quick play mode, which is essentially just one period of three on three hockey. And in the first game, our opponent jumps out to the lead from a goal that you could obviously tell I was pretty happy about. That goes in? Regardless, we managed to tie the game up and in the last two seconds, our teammate buries the game winning dagger. While hopping into game number two, let's talk about the three reasons why I wanted to play 100 games of World of Chell in NHL 24. The first being that I wanted to see how good I am against my online opponents. Obviously. The second reason is to see all the crazy goals, deeks, and scenarios that happen throughout the 100 games. And with the changes to the Michigan Deke in NHL 24, the third reason is I want to see how many Michigans were pulled off in the 100 games. Now with that said, in game number two, we never scored any Michigan goals. Actually, we never scored any goals. And my teammate quit after going down 2-0. That's not a hot start. But in game number three, my teammate goes on a tear as he buries a hat trick. I draw a penalty while up 3-0 and our opponents decide to quit. Game number four goes back and forth as each team buries an early goal. Unfortunately, I end up costing as I missed my hit giving them a breakaway to go up one. Again, I end up throwing as my terrible pass gets picked off and they go up two. On the bright side, I end up burying my first goal in NHL 24 with a beautiful snipe, but it wasn't enough and we lose this one 3-2. Another frustrating game as we go down 1-0 on some full pressure bull My teammate then decides to give up on defense and cherry picks the rest of the game, resulting in a 2-0 deficit. Like last game, I bury a goal to get us back in it, but it's not enough and yet another loss. Game number 6 shows exactly why EA Sports is superior in every way possible. <laughs> Our opponents buried 3 cross trees goals and we lose 4-1. A little bounce back from the fellas as all three of us score a goal each and our opponents quit down 3-1 halfway through the game. Feels good to be back in the win column. And in game number 8, time for our turn to get a little puck luck as we bury a few cross crease goals and end up winning the game 5-2. Alright, time to debut our club, the Michigan Tropics. I played with these guys for 4 years now and we're happy to be back for another year of Eshel. Most of the games in this video will be with the squad, so let's kick it off in game number 9 where both teams were scoring at will and down 7-6 to six in the last 30 seconds, we tie it up and send it to overtime. And in overtime, we get to add our first goal to the Michigan counter. In this game, I got one of my favorite clips I've recorded so far in NHL 24. Let's watch it. Unfortunately, the physical play couldn't help us defensively, and we drop a 6-3 contest. Now, game number 11, I decided to try out goalie and the new tether controls for goalies. Spoiler alert, they're trash. However, we force a rage quit after going up three goals in the first. I let in zero goals on zero shots, which is technically still a shutout, so you could say I'm probably the best goalie to ever play. A tough loss in this one, and in late in the second period, we score to cut the lead to 3-2. We grind the entire third period getting countless scoring chances, but we just can't bury one, and our opponents lock it down and win the game. Game 13 was a very high scoring affair, with both teams combining for 12 goals. However, my teammates went off and we came out of it with an 8-4 win. A similar game as the Tropics are up 5-2 in the third period. I make a great hit on a 2 on 1 to turn over the puck and that was the final straw as our opponents quit on our offensive rush. Another game of absolute lackluster defense, at least from our opponents as we cash in on an 8 to 3 win, but most importantly, another goal to the Michigan counter. Hey hey hey, keep that Michigan counter up there cause we gotta add to it again. That goal made game number 16 7 to 1 in the second period and our opponent finally left the game while down 10 to 1. The boys are firing on all cylinders right now. And another big win in game number 17, this time 6 to 2. I popped off scoring these two beautiful goals and the Tropics remain red hot. Another day, another 6-2 win. 
This time, Christian, our center, popped off with a hat trick, and we keep on rolling. All right, now let me ask you something. What's better than a 6-2 win? How about a 7-2 win? And what's even better than a 7-2 win? How about adding another goal to the Michigan counter? Game number 20 is a completely back and forth game, as our opponent buries a goal and then we bury one right back. Unfortunately, we find ourselves down 5-4 in the last minute of the third period, and even with the goalie pulled, we just can't find a way to put one in the net, ending our incredible hot streak. Another high scoring affair, but also a nail biter, as we find ourselves with a 6-3 lead in the third period. Our opponent scores two quick ones to get within one goal, but luckily enough, the boys managed to pull it together, giving us the win. Hey, you remember that Michigan counter? Yeah, why don't we bring it back up on the screen again, shall we? This game resulted in a dominating 5-1 win over our opponents. Wait a second, I never said to take that Michigan counter off the screen, bring it back up! And why don't we add two to the counter from this game? And here's another to add to the counter from game number 24. Unfortunately for this game, however, our opponents scored three unanswered goals in the third period, and they stole this game from us. This next game was just a really solid game from the fellas, as we shut down our opponent and only allow one goal, and we pick up a very easy 4-1 win. What looked like a disaster after letting in the first goal, the Tropics would absolutely explode on offense in game number 26, scoring seven goals including four from our defenseman Brody, and win the game 7-2. Only three games later, and we're adding another one to the Michigan counter. This game was no contest as our opponents quit after the 9-0 goal. Another shutout, and another to add to the Michigan counter. The boys are buzzing right now, winning this one 7-0, and outscoring our opponents in the last two games 16-0. Game number 29 is a weird game. We score one goal, and our opponents immediately score. We score a second goal, and our opponents immediately score. We score a third goal. And then I add one to the Michigan counter, and we get a 5-3 win. Wait a second, what's this? A four-handed Michigan to add to the counter? Nice! Unfortunately, our opponents would go on to score five straight goals, ending our amazing win streak. An absolute nail-biter in Game 31. We go on to take the early 1-0 lead, but our opponents tie it late in the first. I score to take the lead with six minutes left in the second period, but our opponents tie it right back up early in the third. They then go on to score two more goals, giving them a 4-2 lead with half the third to play. But the boys bounce back and score three straight goals to ultimately win the game 5-4. Phew! The only thing that can make me more worried is the fact that you haven't hit subscribe yet. If you're a fan of NHL 24 or even just hockey in general, look no further as I'm always uploading videos, posting funny NHL shorts, and even streaming NHL 24 live. So if you want to see more hockey content, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you'll be notified every time I post new NHL content. Okay, I lied. Game 32 had me pretty worried as well. A back and forth game again as both teams took turns scoring up until 2-2. We then score three unanswered to go up 5-2, but then blow a three goal lead and head into overtime tied 5-5. But with the pressure on, I score this sick backhand goal to give the boys some relief and win the game 6-5. In a rare occurrence, we don't actually score the first goal of the game in this one. Too bad that doesn't matter, as that would be the only goal our opponents would score, and we bury three unanswered goals for the 3-1 win. Add another one to the Michigan counter, and another overtime. And with 10 seconds left in the overtime, our defenseman Jordan buries the game winner. Game 35 was a tough one, as we were down early, and we could just never tie up the game, as we lose a tough one 5-3. Hey look, I'm back in net for the second time, except this time, I got a real shutout. That's right, I stopped all one shots. I am literally Patrick Waugh. Alright, all good things must come to an end, I finally let in my first goal against. Uh, except I actually let in five goals in this game. It doesn't matter though, we still walked away with a 7-5 win. Look at this dude. This is one of those frustrating games where we outplayed our opponents in every single aspect and we still ended up losing. We had 12 more shots than them and we didn't even score our first goal until the third period. The result? A 3-2 heartbreaking loss. Game number 39 was another one of those games where we just spent the whole first two periods trailing. However, in the third period, we exploded on offense, and we managed to take the 7-5 win. A change of pace compared to all of the high-scoring games. In this one, both teams were tied at zero heading into the second intermission. We score early in the third period, and in the last minute of play, B. Rhodes makes an incredible block which springs me on a B-way to bury the insurance marker. 2-0 final. 
Another day, another Michigan for the OG. That Michigan counter is going up pretty quick, huh? Leave a comment down below predicting what you think the counter will be at by game 100. And here's another one to add to the counter. But on a real note, we gotta talk about the save that Jordan made in the final minute to keep us winning this game. In game 43, we decided to hop on a live stream and play some games out, and it couldn't have started any better. Oh! Way to start the game, golly! Welcome to the stream, f***ers. Well, maybe a win could have been better. Bye, have a great time. In this game, I had a hat trick of penalty shots. I was able to bury two of them, and we won comfortably 5-2. Speaking of penalty shots, what's more stressful than a penalty shot in overtime? Let's go, baby. Let's f***ing go. Huge! Game 46 was crazy, as it seems like we couldn't buy a goal, being down 3-0 in the third period. But somehow, we tie it up and yet another game goes to overtime. And in OT, I make no mistake on this breakaway. Oh, by the way, did you forget about the Michigan counter? Unfortunately, even after being down by three and tying it up, we still lost a heartbreaker in overtime. I wanted to show this goal because I honestly thought it was nasty. This game was a walk in the park as our opponents rage quit after we scored to go up six to one. Game 49 was pretty unfortunate as we couldn't buy a goal. Except for Michigan, of course, but that couldn't help our cause enough as we lost this one 5-2. But we're now at game number 50, which is the halfway mark. If you've gotten this far in the video, make sure to leave a like down below so I know you guys enjoy these 100 game videos. And to celebrate, we unveiled our new alternate jerseys. And you know we had to style on our opponent with them on. Even though it doesn't matter the color of jerseys we're wearing, we're still finding a way to add to that Michigan counter. We're also finding ways to stay in the win column, this time a 5-4 win. Game 52 was a low scoring affair, only 3 goals combined by both teams. Sadly, we were on the losing side of this one, as we just couldn't bury the puck, losing 2-1. But we get our revenge against the same team in the next game, as we're tied 4-4, and in overtime, the fellas click on a great passing play, giving us the win. We're now in drop-in with a couple friends just having some fun, and even in drop-ins, we're still adding to the Michigan counter. This game was an easy 6-1 win. Game 55 is one of those games where we spent the entire game just chasing our opponent. Every time we would score, our opponents would score right after. We ended up losing this one goal game. Game number 56, we hopped into the 3v3 quick play mode. We buried two late goals in the period, and we were able to hold on for the 2-1 win. And now we're back with the Tropics, and this game is a really weird one. Very low scoring, but I managed to tie it at 1 with less than 3 minutes to go, so we're off to overtime. Check out this OT winner our opponent scored though. Oh. Another relatively low scoring game, but I scored a hat trick of snipes in this one, and we take the easy 3-1 win. Game number 59 might have been the most frustrating game out of all the 100. We start the game off strong with a 2 goal lead, but every single bounce goes our opponent's way and my team quits after allowing five straight goals. Another relatively frustrating game, but more so because of their last goal. The fact that I'm perfectly in position, looking at the passer, and the puck just randomly bounces off my stick is so frustrating. Oh well, we got 40 more games to go. Woo! This game's trash! Game number 61 has got it all. The boys were falling apart defensively, being down four to one, but then we get one to trim the lead down to two. Then I score a Michigan to bring us within one. Then Christian gets a penalty shot in the last two minutes to tie it. This game takes us to double overtime. And just like in the last games, I make no mistake burying the OT winner on a what breakaway. They, oh, oh, what are you going to do? He's choosing room daddy. Oh, look at that. Look at this. Look at that. Remember that whole being in the passing lane issue a couple games ago? Yeah, what the f*** is this? Game 63 looked like a throwaway early as we were down 2 to nothing, but the fellas came together and scored 6 unanswered goals to prove we deserved to win that game. With it only being a 2 goal game to start the 3rd period, this one seemed pretty close, until the fellas opened the floodgates and scored 4 more, giving us the easy 6 nothing win. This game was extremely back and forth as our opponents opened the scoring in the 1st, but we scored 3 unanswered goals in the 2nd, then our opponents tie it up and send it to OT. Unfortunately, this time, we end up losing in overtime with this really weird goal.
game 66 was just a back and forth battle as we switched up the positions a little and I played defense. Unfortunately, our opponents ended up getting the better of us and taking the win 3 to 2. All right, a little drop in action with B Rhodes, and he pops off scoring two and our only two goals as our opponents quit the game midway through the second period. Another two goal game from B and the fellas take an easy 3 to 1 win and another drop in game. Game number 69. Nice. You know what else is nice? Tying the game up in the last 10 seconds and getting another overtime win. So in game number 70, I finally unlocked the gold 1T X Factor. Let's see how it worked in this game. Yep, I think it works pretty good. In this game, we were all over our opponents, constantly forcing turnovers. After my goal to make it 3-1 in the second period, our opponents rage quit. In game 72, we started off pretty hot by scoring a goal in the first minute. And uh, that was it. Our opponents ended up quitting. This game was an absolute pounding. Hey yo, who writes this script? We beat our opponents 7-1, and we get an add to the Michigan counter. Another barn burner, and major props to our opponents who not only tied the game at 6 with 3 seconds left in the game, but they also scored the OT winner. A very good back and forth game that unfortunately we just couldn't close it out. A little Michigan vs Michigan battle in game 75, and mad props to our opponents goalie who stole the win for them. We outshot the other team by 15, but still ended up losing 4-3. You hate to see it if you're a Tropics fan. Alright, Zoo's back in net baby. And now I'm reminded why I hate playing goalie. Three cross crease goals against, this crazy bounce on the fifth goal against, and a shot off my defenseman and in for the OT winner. Yeah, that's enough goalie for me. You know what? Let's change it up completely and try out one's eliminator. Now this is by far my least favorite game mode, but I know a lot of people like it, so I figured I'll give it a shot. And in the first game, I lose by one goal and I'm bounced out in the first round. But hey, not only do we win our next game, but we also get to add to the Michigan counter because of ones. Awesome. Look at that. Another win in ones and another goal added to the Michigan counter. We're now one win away from winning the ones tournament. Wait a second. Did the goalie just celebrate after the game? Oh baby, three straight games with Michigans and three straight wins and we win our first and probably only once tournament in NHL 24. All right, let's check in on the Tropics and see how they're doing. Yep, we're firing on all cylinders right now. And in game number 82, we force a rage quit off of yet another 4 to 1 game. A little back and forth game in this one, but we managed to take a 3-2 lead early in the third period and we hold on to win a one goal game. And yet another low scoring affair, which just means the fellas are playing great defensively. I bury the insurance marker late in the third period and we walk away with a 3 to 1 win. A little Tropics on Tropics battle in this one. So we had to win this game to prove that we are the better Tropics team. One more shot on goal, double their time on attack, and yet we still lost 6-3. Not our finest of games, so let's try and bounce back. Oh, never mind. We're up against elite ranked players. Brother, holy sh- We quit once they had more goals than we had shots. Jesus Christ. In game number 88, I had a viewer come into my stream and ask this. Yo, what's up, Zoo? I challenge you to hit it between the legs in this game? Alright, Eddie. I'll try it. So you know I had to go for it. Oh yeah, For there's sure. your between the legs, Eddie. Let's go, baby. <laughs> I'm just watching myself with the puck and all here is Jordan in the background, freaking out. Bang. Oh. Ew, <laughs> cooked. <laughs> Actually cooked. Hey, 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 post-production zoo, add that to the Michigan counter. I don't know where it is on screen yet, add it. I should have passed this cheeseburger. I'm such a here you go, cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> In game number 91, we got absolutely robbed of winning this game. Take a look at this. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh! No. Oh. I think the time is already over. Bro, I gotta see the replay. Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> That's in. Wait, is that That's it? in. On my screen, the board say point one, and the puck is so cross the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That is so in! Yo! Same play? Yeah, same play. Sakes, bro. I can't believe we just lost that game. We had some incredible moments in game number 92. Take a look. Let's go. Holy sh I just exploded! Meow! Add that to the counter. I'm faster than you. Haha. <laughs> 
fuck you. My pug now. <laughs> ah! I sure am, bud. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty fun win. For the next game, the only footage I have is our opponents quitting before the puck was even dropped. Oh well. Game on the line. Penalty shot with one second left. If B Rhodes saved this, we win. And this is what he did. Oh! 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 And in the very next game, after scoring the first goal, this happens. Let's go. Bye. Dude, one goal, one shot. Come on now. It's not that serious. Oh my god, oh my. man. That's cringe. In game 96, it was tied very late in the third period. Unfortunately, we turn the puck over, barely get scored on, and throw away the game. That one stings. Alright, club finals are here, and the boys are looking for their first championship. Let's get it going. 1 0 heading into our next game, and the boys clutch up, taking home a 4 3 win. Let's go. <laughs> Unfortunately, our undefeated streak comes to an end after this incredible bounce off the end boards in OT. Save. Oh my oh, god, what a bounce. What a bounce. What a bounce. <laughs> but here we are, game number 100. And the boys are up one with 10 seconds to go. Important, okay. important seconds here. Important seconds. Down, it's down, it's out. Let's go. However, even though we finished our 100 games in the middle of club finals, we continued to play the finals. And of course, the Michigan Tropics would go on to become Elite Cup champions. So how did we do? Well, in the 100 games, we finished with a record of 69, 24, and 7. Hey, that's a nice amount of wins. And what about that Michigan counter? Well, in the 100 games, we managed to score 27 Michigans. That's more than one Michigan goal every four games. Anyways, if you made it this far in the video, I truly appreciate your support. These videos take a long time to make, so I appreciate you watching till the end. Go ahead and comment down below your favorite moment of the 100 games. And while you're down there, make sure to throw the video a like and also subscribe for more NHL 24 content. My name is Zoo. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.